Good morning everybody and welcome to another video. Today's a really, really exciting video. Um, today is December the 28th. Me and Can Jake have been in Canada for three years two days ago and my youngest brother arrives in Canada with his girlfriend today to move. They are moving from the UK to Canada. They are on an IEC, um, IEC two-year visa. They're coming to stay with us. They've left England and we are going to pick them up at 2.30. Um, but first I want to go to Dollarama. I want to get a big sign and I want to wrap right on it welcome to Canada so I just think that'd be really cute for them to come in obviously it's very emotional leaving home me and Jake have been through it and I just want someone that they can smile the other side so and um, they're very very excited um and we're so excited to have them Jake is just behind me here he needs to get in the shower so I'm gonna run I'm all dressed and ready I'm not wearing makeup today um so I'm gonna run to Dollarama now while Jake gets in the shower and let's go a big piece of paper okay we are here at Dollarama and it's nice and quiet, which is good because this Dollarama is normally so busy. Okay, I found the paper. Do I go for red? Or should I go for red? Let's go for red. I think this is big enough. Okay, I've just got home and I've just gone downstairs to get my pencil case. So now we're going to write on here. I'm literally just going to say. Lars and Liv, welcome to Canada. I hope I don't spell it wrong because I'm dyslexic. Because <laughs> that would be embarrassing, embarrassing. Looks like a three-year-old's done it. Oh, well. Lars is the thought that counts, right? Lars and Liv. I'll go over it. I'll go over it, guys. Don't worry about it. I'll go over it. It looks really bad, but it's okay. To Canada. How big's welcome? How do you spell welcome? Okay, let's, how many letters? W-E-L-C-O-M-E, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah. Okay, this is what I've got so far, and now I'm gonna go around it. I'll show you it when we get to, <laughs> to the airport, and then on the way to the airport, we're actually stopping off at a mall to look at some snowboarding stuff. So Okay, so we are just coming into Toronto Airport. We stopped off at a few miles on the way to so just have a look around. We didn't buy anything, but now we are just on our way to pick them up. They landed um, about 10 minutes ago at three o'clock, so it was only 15 minutes delayed. And um, they're just literally just got off the plane, so it only took them like 15 minutes to get off, which is good. They were right at the beginning of the air uh, the plane though so which was good just coming in now it's so weird me and Jake were just saying like when we come here we normally have to come back here in like a week or two weeks to drop people off but guess what they're staying <laughs> well if they're not else they're not we're taking them back um, we have been to the airport so many times since we've lived in Canada picking up our friends and family and I wouldn't change it for the world but I just feel like it's our second home here uh, yeah when we came obviously it was pre-pandemic and we went there was no line up like there was one person in front of us and we got seen to within I want to say 10 minutes but obviously we've just had a snowstorm so everyone got delayed and also it's after covid so I don't know how long they're going to be to get their visas fingers crossed it just takes them 15 minutes but we don't know but there's no rush me and Jake are going to go sit in get a coffee and just wait for them it's really exciting for them um so yeah let's go pick them up from the airport and I don't know if this vlog will ever see the day I just am documenting it for Lars and Liv one day they might want to look back on it um me and Jake love watching ours back so yeah okay so we're in the airport but the car park was full so Jake had to go to terminal one and he had to get a train here he dropped me off outside just in case we missed them so means we have to get a train back which isn't the end of the world because obviously this airport's gone through so much in the takes last two days seconds. takes 30 seconds okay and then also we've never picked anyone up from terminal three before and we get these we so what are they called muskoka chairs. muskoka chairs they're canadian everyone has them in their lawn but it's just cool you get to give you all comfy where they'll be coming out and i've got my sign ready <laughs> they're gonna be so embarrassed so they just text to say that they are coming through. It's been two hours since they've landed and an hour since we parked. So it's not been too bad, but they just said they've gone to get their bags now. So we got the sign ready. They're gonna be so embarrassed, but that's okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 
Nope. <laughs> nope. <Yay! laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. Ready for tonight. I have just got out the mozzarella dippers and also the tap shrimp. And now I am going to make a cheese board. Um, for cheese board, and everyone comes over in an hour. Jake just got in from work. <laughs> He's looking for snacks, even though we've got so much food. So, yeah, we're going to put in the snacks now. We're going to make the cheese board. I'm excited. So I have just done the table. I haven't finished yet, but here's of all the M&S stuff. And then we've got all of our bread and hummus, and then that bit of hummus. And then we have cheese and crackers, garlic bread, English pickle, meat, onions, olives, and we still have three pizzas to come out. And also we have other things. These are the glasses that we've got. Yeah. Here's the blow corns. Friends have just got here and Lars is going to pop open the champagne. Have you done this before? One, two, three. Oh, I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel so high. As I reach out, reach out, reach out, reach out to the sky. I don't feel anything. I found my way. I found my way. I was in the dark, against it all, I made it through the day, cause I found my way. <laughs>